Well, after a little bit of a bumpy road, we made it to destination. Just gonna unload here, and we're gonna walk out to the lake. Got just a short hike to the lake, and today Bridget says we're fishing for brook trout, which I think are some of the prettiest. I would love to catch one of those. I didn't catch a cutthroat yesterday. Well, designated net man here, because Bridget's got another one. Same spot. Okay, I just caught this one. That was the craziest run from a Colorado cutthroat that I've ever had. Look at how chunky he is. He's so big. Let him go. Holy cow. So I'm behind, way behind. But the cutthroat are hard to catch. Cutthroats are hard to catch. At that lake. And I'm pretty impatient, so I give it a little while and then I throw in the towel. I'm not gonna lie. That's a true story. But this lake, I can see it in the distance through the trees. It's pretty. It is so pretty up here. That drive, I put up some of the time lapse and some of the video on the drive up here. Really cool. I had a lot of fun just uh, taking the old quad out. Need to get this thing out more often. Get the old rod put back together. Oh yeah, give me the streamer. But I think you'll still catch more with the nymph. You took the wrong way, babe, but you... Here's one cool thing I like about this pack. It's just the small bag that goes on my full curl system. I brought it today just to go fishing. We're not hiking very far or anything, but on the inside of it, it has these buckles. This thing becomes just a super light, I wouldn't even call it like a day pack, more just like a sack <laughs> with backpack straps. But I'm not gonna lie, it comes in handy. So there we go. There's my Horn Hunter pack. It's uh, full of food. I'll show you guys when we get over there, but food and water and the essentials. You think I would have my crispy boots, but they're a little wet back at camp, hiking in the slippers, not recommended for rocks. It's a little windy. I'm sure you guys can tell it's gonna be windy. Well, this spot is pretty cool. We're gonna post up right here. Looks like there's a spring, fresh water that dumps right into the reservoir of the lake here. Oh. oh yeah, much better. And I can actually see a fish from here. Sweet. Short strips. I give up right there. You guys see in these trees? This is not good conditions for trying to cast. The wind is coming right at me. Bridget caught a fish right here just a minute ago. Yeah, the big one right underneath my strike indicator. Eat. This little bay so far is the best little spot we found out of the wind. Oh, I'm starting to see more fish now that the ripples are going away. But I finally hooked up a fish. It's gonna be a pretty brook trout. That was funny. It's almost hard to believe when your strike indicator finally goes down. You're like, what's wrong? I think. I know, I saw the way you raised your rod like so lightly. Oh, oh, he just snapped me off. Oh well, at least we got to see him out there. Pretty fish, so that's good. Better than nothing. Ooh, getting crazy. Well, now that I hooked into a fish. <laughs> Not a good idea to wear slippers and rocks. I'm gonna get me a snack. We got peanuts. And grapes. I got myself a little sit sitting station right here. I'm gonna post up and keep fishing. All right, second hookup. Oh, shoot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got this. He's pretty, he's got really white fins. I'm gonna try to get him into Bridget. Coming at ya. Woohoo! My first fish. He took that bottom one, huh? Guys, look at this fish. Oh, he is so pretty. Bridget netted him for me. Wow, that's cool. What a gorgeous fish. Okay, Eric's getting ready to let him go. Look at that fish. Just caught this beauty. <laughs> nice. Started out of there. Good job, babe. That was cool. 
Sweet. One fish in hand. Back out there again. And honestly, does it get any better just to be able to sit, relax, enjoy the scenery, enjoy things like grapes, hanging out with your girlfriend, doing something you love? I don't know. I'm having fun. I'm happy. And fish is just a bonus. Well, the fishing has died down big time. I got those two strikes back to back and nothing since and it's been at least an hour. Bridget also caught and landed one fish, but still had a good time. Like I said earlier, man, I just sure enjoyed the scenery, the relaxing side of it all and riding my four-wheeler up here was a lot of fun. So we got the ride back. Still got some fun things to do, but just wanted to say one thing I appreciate about you guys, you know, the viewers, most of you enjoy all of our adventures regardless of how many we catch, whether we hunt, whether we kill. And you guys know if you followed long enough that we pretty much just document these adventures. We don't go out and plan on making a highlight reel. I wish I could have showed you guys more fish, but I really do appreciate you guys just watching these videos and enjoying them regardless of if we catch or kill or hook a ton of fish. I mean, a lot of you guys may not be able to get out as much as us and uh, just see in this scenery right here. A lot of you guys probably enjoy that and I just think that's cool. So I just wanna say thanks to all you guys that watch our videos. We are always trying to make good content, always trying to catch fish, shoot big bucks. We're always doing our best. But we gotta make our way out of here today. Unfortunately, this is the end of my trip. Drive down the uh, dirt road, get to camp, pack up. Back to the city, unfortunately. And you know, right now when I'm up here, it sucks, you got things on your mind. I got things I gotta do. My garage is getting worked on. Got a weekend trip planned to St. George. And it sucks that when you're up here, you got other things on your mind. So I tried to just forget about that stuff earlier and enjoy it, but I do need to head home. You have fun, babe? Yes, I had fun. It was <laughs> slow. Um, it's usually a lot faster than this, but when it's this wavy and there's this much wind, the bugs lie down and if the bugs aren't out, the fish won't feed. So that's kind of what happened. But there were midges out and everything we caught was on midges, so. It was still fun. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Go check out Bridget's channel. It's just under her name, Bridget Fable. And we'll see you guys on the next video.